The facial nerve is a mixed nerve. It contains general sensory fibers and somatic motor fibers. It also contains parasympathetic preganglionic fibers that synapse in two parasympathetic ganglia, the pterygopalatin ganglion and submandibular ganglion. The facial nerve enters the petrous part of the temporal bone through the internal acoustic meatus. Within this bone, it divides into three parts, which are not shown in this video, the greater petrosal nerve, the corda tympani nerve, and the asomatic motor root. The first part, the greater petrosal nerve, contains parasympathetic preganglionic fibers. It exits the temporal bone and courses across the floor of the middle cranial fossa. It crosses the foramen lacerum and lies adjacent to the internal carotid artery. It collects sympathetic fibers from the surface of the internal carotid artery and forms a new nerve called the nerve of the pterygoid canal. The nerve of the pterygoid canal enters the narrow pterygoid canal located beneath the roof of the pterygoid plate, which directs the nerve to the pterygopalatin fossa and the pterygopalatin ganglion. A second part of the facial nerve is a corda tympani nerve. This nerve contains parasympathetic preganglionic fibers and special sensory fibers for taste from the anterior two thirds of the tongue. The corda tympani courses across the middle ear cavity, which is not shown in this video, and exits into the infratemporal fossa. It joins a lingual nerve, a branch of the mandibular nerve, and courses to the floor of the oral cavity. The parasympathetic preganglionic fibers leave the corda tympani and synapse in the submandibular ganglion. The corda tympani nerve also has special sensory fibers from the tongue. These sensory fibers are for taste. The third part of the facial nerve is the somatic motor root. The motor root is contained in a bony canal within the petrous part of the temporal bone called the facial canal, which is not shown in this video. The facial canal leads to the stylomastoid foramen, where the motor root enters the lateral neck. Motor branches are distributed to the stylohyoid muscle and the posterior belly of the digastric muscle as well as the posterior auricular and occipital belly of the occipitofrontalis muscles. The remaining motor branches form a plexus called the parotid plexus that enters the parotid salivary gland and divides into five branches distributed to the muscles of facial expression.